Right guys, welcome to another episode of Riding the Reaper. Today we're going to take out the center console because we're replacing those black gauges with nice white gauges. And uh, it's going to have a reverse glow effect kind of a thing going for it. So uh, yeah, that's what we're up to right now. We're going to take out this console and uh, basically remove the knob for the headlights. There's two screws here at the top to get this piece off. Once that piece comes off, then uh, there's another four more bolts, uh, Phillips head, I think it is, um, holding the console in place. I'm going to pull that out and then take it upstairs to take off the black and replace it with the white. So let's get to it. Okay, so once you've removed both of those top screws, you can see that that's what they look like. Um, just putting them in the ashtray for safety. You have to kind of get this knob out here. And to get this knob out, there's a little gap that you kind of need to... Well, you can just pull it off like that, but there's a gap there where you put a flathead screwdriver and just pry it out. And then, once that's off, you can actually drop the wheel, which is going to give you a bit more space to pry this out. Um, and you just pop it off, it's all clips. Pop that off, put that to, put that to the side, and now you've got your gauge cluster. So, what we're looking for is the black ones, not the gold ones. The black ones is the ones you want to get off uh, to remove the entire cluster. Just be careful not to drop these screws inside the cluster, so you need to take them out very carefully. There's four of them. So, you're removing all four just to get the entire console out. Once you've removed all four, you can pull the console towards you. Um, basically, um, down and out and that's just gonna get it easier out once you've got this out there's two um, two connectors at the back two electrical connectors uh, obviously supplying the power to the gauges itself and you'll see those in a minute um, you'll just need to disconnect those two before you pull on the console itself lots of people get excited and they start putting the thing out and then there's still connectors so that's all four and you'll see the console is now loose so you can pull it towards you like I said uh, down and up and here's your connectors you'll see one up here on the left and you just need to kind of get your hand in there and there's a little tab and you're gonna pull down on that tab and on this side the same thing I'm just gonna pull on it and that's the cluster so now what you're gonna do is when you get upstairs when we are going to open it up you're gonna take those gold ones off and then that will remove this hole piece here in front and you can swap then what happens is that black piece and this frame comes off so yep let's take it upstairs all right so now we are loosening the uh, golden bolts these are holding this frame in place so you can just pull that off straight like that and there you'll see this is the cluster um, now what you want to do is you want to get this black off, right? So what they use the instruction manual. So the instruction manual says that we are basically taking those off, taking that off. So right now, using the two tools supplied with the face kit, gently pry the needle upward and release them. So <coughs> they want us to remove the needles. Go. So, let's do one side at a time. Um, need to be very gentle, they're very uh, finicky. 
so you release them so what I'm doing is you can actually hear the glue put it so what I'm doing is just there glue these ones down pretty well Damage this one a little bit now, but that's okay. So you'll see those are the new ones. It's the white. So now they want you to peel the back away, like such. Okay, but we first need to get these holes out. There comes the back off, <coughs> and now we're gonna just paste it on. Um, so it's self adhesive. Um, you don't need to use any glue or anything like that. So you can see I've lined up all the screw holes and those kinds of things nicely now. Try not to get, I know your hands are going to be dirty, so try not to get uh, the white dirty because that's going to look ugly as fuck if you get the white dirty. And what you can also do is just to clean it up, um, you can just clean up all this dirt. I mean, look at this. I don't even know how it gets in there. But there's sand and stuff that gets in here uh, that you can just actually blow out with a compressor or just clean it out with a cloth. But this is looking pretty neat so far. I mean, look at that. What do you guys think? Came out pretty well. Put it down. Down the comment section and like it if you guys like yeah if you guys like it if you guys like the white or if you guys like the black put it down in the comment section which one you like better i prefer the white that's why i bought them and uh you'll definitely see the difference once it's in i mean you can really see the black and white just complements each other and with the leds it's going to look insane boom so, let's go put it in okay guys so just got it in everything seems to be working all the dials seem to be working shut up um, so we're just gonna put these screws back in now and put everything back into place um, what I did with the fuel gauge is, is this fuel gauge always read when it was full it never read on full it read over full so I just turned that down a slight little bit so that we know exactly what that's on now but everything else seems to be working just right uh, the revs were sticking before so what I done is I just pulled them out a bit slightly so that they're not flush with the um, with the inserts themselves so that they don't get stuck because what was what I was doing is it was revving up and not coming back down but everything seems to be good uh, the only thing left to test now is obviously the speedo but I just pulled the speedo spin a bit out as well so that it's not flush as well so it doesn't stick but now just gonna get all these bolts back in place or these nuts nuts these nuts <laughs> So yeah, put them back in place, put the cover back on, and then uh, what I'll do is take a video tonight to show you what it looks like in the dark with the, with the LEDs. That's it. Right guys, so as you can see, it's fairly dark. It's not too dark yet, but you can see it's dark here by the gauges. So moment of truth. Uh, let's just check if we turn the key on. Oh, all lights up pretty decently. You can see everything check engine light and the battery and all that um, the handbrake park lights on okay good so let's see what this looks like all right so it's not as bright as what I thought it would be but that's obviously due to the LEDs so it looks like I'll have to switch out the LEDs um, because these aren't as bright as what I thought it would be. But it looks legit though. It looks really cool. I'll just have to switch out these LEDs for a bit brighter LEDs. Because these LEDs aren't necessarily the best. But uh, it's all visible. I can see everything that needs to be seen. Looks legit. Just need to get very much brighter LEDs. But yeah. So far so good. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll just have to swap out these LEDs for a bit bright LEDs. I am going around to buy the LEDs anyway uh, for the 
for the map lights and uh, for the center console as you can see they're not very bright either um, you can't really see much anything uh, but yeah I'm definitely gonna swap them out for brighter LEDs so that we can see much better but yeah that's it anyway guys just a short video to show you a little bit of more progress on the Reaper and uh, small little things that I'm doing to her to get her up to scratch and get a more modern and so forth but anyway guys riding the Reaper peace out mm -hmm.